Thank you for calling New York Life. My name is Laura, and how may I help you today? I'd like to speak with Bill Werfelman, please. Right, and okay, and Mr. King, and the reason for the call? <laughs> Systemic racism is the issue. And uh, Mr. Werfelman and I had discussed a, a discrimination lawsuit last fall, and now I have a report of several more lawsuits that have come up regarding race discrimination. And I'd like to get a comment from him. I emailed him last week about this, and I hadn't heard back. And I just want to circle my wagons before I go into publication about this. New York life has been practicing racism in this country since the slave era. Even they had to acknowledge that much. Now, every now and then there's a concession to modernity, but in reality, those concessions are mere bandages placed on a seething wound. And it's placed there only after inflammatory issues come to light. It is not so much their past, however, that worries me. It is the present and the future. Now here you see cases from the late 90s that prompted an EEOC investigation. I will be seeking the results of that investigation. Then there was the case of Kettler Basse a year ago that I posted last fall when I went to corporate headquarters. Um, the Moulinia moment was the name of that video. But I'm here to speak to someone with uh, personnel, perhaps. It's a situation in New Hampshire. Yes, it's a civil rights case in New Hampshire right now. Uh, and you want somebody to make a comment from New York Life? But... New York Life admitted, you know, using racial slurs against him, but they claimed that there was no other adverse employment action based on his race, other than calling him a moolie or an eggplant, of course. But he's going to disagree with that, and so will his attorneys out in New Hampshire. Now, in the past year, there have been two more lawsuits to join Mr. Bosse, and they're filed by, you know, three successful black career employees, and they're exposing the ongoing culture of systemic racism that New York Life uh, still actively practices, in my estimation. Now, the racist pig whore uh, issue that came about last year that was leveled at a, one of the uh, Black Lives Matter principles, that issue does not appear to be an isolated incident, but rather part of a larger collective corporate culture. So the three cases that are um, pending right now, we have Mr. Bosse in New Hampshire, and we have John Sugik in the Eastern District, Michigan uh, Federal Court, and Eugene Mitchell south, uh, in the uh, Southern District, uh, New York Federal Court. Now, as such, one might say that these are less likely to be isolated incidents and more likely to be the result of a corporate culture or ethos that is designed to discriminate against blacks either de facto or de jure modus operandi. Now, one thing in common about all three of these current plaintiffs is that they're all concerned about establishing uh, growth patterns for generational wealth, and that's typically something that's not enjoyed by blacks in this country. And so they're trying to, you know, remediate the effects of the past discrimination of their employer, basically, if you think about it, and their employers firing them and harassing them because of it. So we see that this is still an ongoing issue. Now, I'm sure more of this is going to come out in the media, in the courtrooms over the next several months. Uh, but it certainly begs the question as to how each of these successful long-term employees, uh, co otherwise career employees, uh, suddenly become undesirable and suffer career setbacks along with some of their um, junior uh, or, or co-staff, which are also largely minority. Now, in the meantime, the silence occasioned by New York Live's failure to return my phone call earlier this week, uh, as promised, uh, that silence remains deafening and quite telling. Yes, sir. Hold on just one moment, okay? And let, let me get his information. I'll be right back with you if you don't mind, Mr. King. Mr. King, I still want to appreciate your patience with me. I'm reaching out to my manager to try and get you connected appropriately. Okay. Mr. King? Yes. Okay, I appreciate your patience with me. Okay, if you don't mind, if I can get your information and I'll and I'll um, I'll have somebody call you back if that's okay. Terrific. Uh, might I anticipate a call back today, or what do you think? I would say within the next twenty four hours. Okay, that's terrific. Yes, and I'll give you the names of some of the individuals that we're just going to be discussing uh, in terms of the litigation.